Hi, I'm Mary Louise Parker. We're talking about Heisenberg at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater. Please come see us on Broadway. Heisenberg's a story about two people who meet in a very uh, unlikely way, who then go on to develop a very uh, unlikely relationship that transforms their lives. Lynn sent it to me and I wanted to do it on like page four. I just was in love with it immediately. And it, usually I can tell very quickly with plays. And this one was really fast. These two performers have such an incredible kind of crackling chemistry together that it elevates the play. It's a wonderful play, but really in production, success depends on those two people and, and what their relationship is. MTC has taken 200 seats out of the balcony and they're putting 200 seats on stage, which I'm so excited to see. I don't think that's ever been done in, in, the, in the Friedman before, to have it turned around and people uh, looking at each other while the play happens in between them. I think that's going to help us too. I feel like it's the kind of thing where it should feel like you're kind of eavesdropping. I think people like that when they watch it because it's... You know, it's quite stark, and we are reaching for kind of realism that I always hope for, but I'm able to achieve it with this because it is just the language, and it's just me and Denny, and it's no props. And it's, uh, that alone, I think, is kind of shocking. I think it was a play that was written with a great faith in the actor, as a great faith that when an, an actor of poise and control commits to a world, we don't need to decorate it. We just believe in them. It's the experience I think that I, I had working on it and I had seen it every time is that no matter where you are in your life, there's always the possibility for it to transform. And you are never as lonely as you think you are. You are never stuck in a rut the way you think you are. And that if you are just open to the world and open to others, it's possible for your life to change and change for the better. And I think that's what the play is saying. I want an audience to realize that they have the capacity to make each other better than they are in isolation. That we might not necessarily be doomed, that in the end we might be all right. <laughs>